Hey hey. Spring Lafe, Simply Tarot. Okay, Aquarius, this is a reading for you. We're just going to see what we get. Okay, yeah, one more. Okay. Woo, we got your card, the star card. So, the star card is a card of healing. Um, the star card, you know, is a very important card because... It's, oh my God, it's got to do with healing. It's got to do with um, wishes coming true. There is so much associated with the star card, kind of like the sun card. The star card can also be a happy card because you um, are, you know, healed from things. You're um, balancing and um, there there's optimism right there with you you know there's having insight and inspirations and aspirations and really you know knowing that there's that big possibility of it happening you know because it's a wish that 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 comes true um, do keep your wishes and do dream big you know, I also feel like there's something, um, there's some sort of developments that's going to show themselves within um, this month, it feels like, uh, possibly the next three months. Some sort of developments, um, it actually going to be a blessing to you. Um, and I also feel like many of you are really feeling very rejuvenated. Um, even with this time of the year, it's a feeling of um, a sense of calm is going to be coming up on you. I also feel like, um, like I said, there's balance, but I also feel like there's an abundance. There's an abundance that's coming your way with the star card. Um, our next, okay, yeah, right here, our next card, the Ten of Pentacles. So that is an abundance. That is stability. You know, this is a feeling like things really. Um, going your way so really I feel like uh, keep yourself nice and grounded and keep your dreams big uh, know that things are happening for you you're coming in as the king of pentacles I feel like that you're working very hard on what it is you desire to achieve and I do feel like with um, you know the um, high priestess being here that there is a need for you to really Oh my goodness, don't jump into anything. Follow your intuition, you know. Be very smart with following your intuition before you jump or leap into anything at all. Um, because things look like they're going to be going in your favor. But at the same time, you need to watch other people's, um, yeah, what they may push at you. Okay, let's get you one of these. You got pig spirit. Use your mind wisely. There you go. Use your mind wisely. Don't jump into anything. Um, and, you know, just be aware that things are coming your way in a good way. But also be aware because, you know, even though we have good things come our way, we can have bad things come our way as well. So, yeah, be aware of that. Okay. Whoop. And they just threw... The card right here it is. Humpback Wheel. Singer. Sing healing songs for the world. Your inner navigation always guides you. Nothing can stop you or keep you from your goal. Align with your purpose. And the life... Pa and, wait, wait a minute. My eyes aren't what they used to be. Okay. Align with your purpose and life power. Oh my goodness. Align with your purpose and the power in your soul. Okay, sorry about that. Certain colors make it hard for me to see cards with the words on them. But yeah, the power in your soul. You've got embrace those around you. Number five. You know, fives are about change as well. Um, this says, This is a time of great spiritual growth for you, making it even more important to surround yourself with those who love you and share your beliefs. 
be willing to accept help from others. You could find comfort in traditional solutions, or your heart may long to try out new ideas. So it's going to be different for different people on that. I want to take a past life card. Um, yeah, let's see what we get for you, Aquarius. Aquarius, 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 Aquarius. Father. Okay, so you could be a father now, or you could have, you know, in a past life, you could have been a father. Or you could have, there could have been some importance about a father. And um, it feels like there's something, you know, that's falling over to you now. So, you don't have to be a father, but there's something about father that's it's really going to, I feel like when you see this card, it's just going to grab you. You may not have a father, um, or one that's been with you. You know, it's going to be different for different people. So, only take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Not every card has to go for every person. Okay, whoops, no, too many. Okay, I'll take these. There's two of them. We've got, um, okay, deconstructing doubt and progressing grief. So, deconstructing doubt. Only my beliefs are in my way. And then processing grief. My losses prove how deeply I love. In any moment, I can surrender to the powerful presence of love through prayer, contemplation, and stillness. Okay, we've got two here. We got spiritual alignment puts my manifestation into motion. And when I'm grateful for what I have, I can feel good along the way to what I desire. So that's what I've got for you. Give it a thumbs up. Please do subscribe. Much light and love. Bye.